Welcome to today's video, everybody. Today, um, today's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna go fly some packs, but I was given this electric moped to do a review on. So the Chamelan twist of today's video is I'm gonna take this electric moped to the flying spot, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on it on the way so I can keep it. All right, all right, so watch this video. So AdMotor, the electric bike company, hit me up a little bit ago, and they're like, hey, would you be interested in doing a review on this electric moped? You just gotta make a video on it. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Hell yeah. Summer's coming, and this is a perfect way to cruise down to the local spot, go fly down at the park or whatever, you know what I mean? The website claims it can carry up to 300 pounds and go up to 100 miles on the charge, which we are definitely going to test. It has a 48-volt, 750-watt rear-mounted motor and a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery those are the words i'm reading off the screen put it together was pretty easy it took me maybe 30 minutes and all i really had to do was install the wheels the handlebar and everything else was already together getting the rear wheel to line up with the disc brake was probably the hardest part of this whole thing but before i want to take this thing flying i want to test the claim of the 100 mile range on it like i don't really think it can do 100 miles maybe on the lowest lowest pedal assist setting but definitely not on full electric there's no freaking way so i decided the best way to test the range on this would be to ride it from my house down through downtown Philadelphia, over the big old bridge and into New Jersey to a park where I'm gonna check my battery and as long as I have like 50% battery left, then I'm good, I can ride it home. So wish me luck. All right, this was my 20 mile trip, 20 mile round trip to New Jersey. Started from my house, rode down the street, here we are heading towards Center City. We have these nice big bike lanes that are separated in Philadelphia now, which are really nice. So I was pretty comfortable riding this thing. You know, I did like 22 miles an hour. So as long as there wasn't other bikes and pedestrians, I was just cruising 22 the whole time on electric mode. Right here, I wanted to show you why I like this electric moped. I was cruising in moped mode, electric, bunch of traffic, and now I'm just a bicycle. Now I'm just using the pedals. I'm just kind of pedaling around on the sidewalk to get past all these cars and stuff. You know, nobody's in the way, so it's whatever. I did that cut because I did pedal past people. But now it's green. Now it's green. Now, hey, I'm a moped again. I decided I'm a moped, no longer a bicycle. So I'm going to moped in electric mode down the street. I'm heading uh, towards the bridge from Philadelphia to New Jersey. Here we are. I ran just the electric moped mode a lot because I still had a third of a battery after all that. That was like six miles. Still had a third of a battery. So I just cruised it on electric mode doing very minimal uh, pedaling doing very minimal pedaling on the bike just boom electric mode cruising right up this hill I was able to maintain 22 miles an hour going up that incline So once I got off the bridge the battery dipped down to a half and I got a little scared of my battery life So I started pedaling off the bridge towards this park that we're going to be coming up to and this was the end of my 9 to 10 It's about a nine mile ride from my house to this park right here. So I'm going to get off Yeah, nine miles the battery was at about 50% you can almost kind of see it here. I do show a few shots of the battery later on, but it was sitting at about two bars here, 50%. Okay, now this is a beautiful moped. Beautiful colors, it rides smooth. Look how nice this is. I live in Philadelphia. You cannot have anything this nice. They live in a big city. You can't have a nice blinging bicycle. So I'm sorry, Ad Motor, but unfortunately I had to kind of camouflage this for the city. So I brought a can of black spray paint and I painted the entire thing blacked out. Um, I'm gonna put some stickers on it. And I'm gonna unfortunately have to make it look a little shitty so it's not a target. If I rode this around the city with you know a brand new paint job on it looking like this, tying it up in front of something, that chain would get cut in a second. This would be gone. I wouldn't own it anymore. So living in a big city, kind of got to dumb things down. Here it is painted all black. It's going to get a little scuffed up. I'm going to put some cool punk rock band stickers on it. So hopefully it'll be like the less desirable electric moped. This shit looks sick. This looks cool as fuck. God, it sucks. Now I have uh, nine more miles. Nine more miles to go back home. Try to get that fucking as you can hear, the weather really took a turn for the worst. It was mad windy, so I started heading back. I have 50% battery here, so I'm using the pedal mode a lot more than I was originally to get out there. I was using just the electric mode the whole time, but here I am close to my house. When I check the battery here, I have two bars left. I think I showed a little bit. There you guys see it there on the top. Two little bars. Boom, man. I'm good to go. I'm maybe a mile from my house, so... I have plenty of battery to get back, pedaling, electric, no matter what. I think 20 miles is going to be about, like, my safe range for this before it starts sketching me out. Boom. Back home. Two bars. Let's go. So that was pretty cool. Uh, that was some confidence right there, man. I did 20 mile round trip ride and I still had about 50% battery left. Now, when I went uphill on electric mode, obviously battery dipped down to like one bar or whatever. But as soon as I started using the pedal assist, then the battery came right back to a solid 50% the rest of the time. 
I think I would be confident riding this thing, you know, like 50 miles, as long as I use the pedal assist a lot in one of the lower settings. I think I could do 50 miles on this round trip, no problem. The 100 mile claim, I don't know, that must be on like level one pedal assist only or something like that. But I personally, I'm like 220 pounds. I'm not riding this 100 miles and like trusting it. But for me, if I'm going farther than 20 miles from my house, I'm driving my car anyway. So this is perfect. This thing is pretty great, man. It's a pretty solid little bike. I don't have anything to compare it to. I've never owned an electric bike before, but this is my first one. It's an electric moped, I guess, because it's got the big old seat and everything. It's nice. It, it rides great. I like it. Now, when I originally talked to AdMotor about doing this review for the bike, I told them I could get them some super sweet Cinewoop fucking shots, like some real nice drone shots on this bike. But then... Um, I screwed my back up pretty bad. So I'm sitting here kind of half-ass broken, but I still want to fulfill my obligation of getting these Cinewoop shots. So I've asked my wonderful girlfriend if she would go down, ride the bike, and let me chase her with the drone and get a few shots so I can show Ad Motor like how this thing looks from the side and stuff. Looks from the side and stuff? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I was like, oh, I'll get you some. Here, look. I was like, yo, I'll fly this, and I'll get some super sweet shots with it. So here, check out these uh, Cinewoop shots that I did. I've never owned an electric bicycle. I really did want one, but the $1,600 price tag really freaking threw me off. So it was like, man, I don't know if I want to actually pay money for that. If I had like $1,600, $1,500, I'd probably just try to buy a car or something instead. But if you're somebody that's interested in this, if you live in a city or if you live somewhere, you know, like 10, 20 miles away from something and you would enjoy riding an electric bike, these are pretty cool. If you got the money, these are pretty cool. I can recommend it. I don't know much about this Ad Motor brand, if it's good or anything. I Googled them and they seem to have like a frame breaking problem on an early model but then they took care of that and all the new frames are just fine nobody's complaining about anything breaking so i guess that's pretty cool way to go ad motor i really do appreciate companies that you know address issues that they had early in their career because everybody can grow you got to give people a chance you know but so tldr if you're interested in an electric bike and you got the money i don't think you can go wrong here this thing is pretty fun it has a big ass battery so you get some pretty good range on it and even um i stood on the back earlier today when i went to go film with my girlfriend she rode the bike and i sat on the back of it and, and i'm huge it carried me and her just fine without struggling so this thing definitely has the torque that's the only way i guess i know how to test this since i don't know anything about electric bikes but it's pretty cool i really appreciate it ad motor and i appreciate all of you for watching this video i'll see you the next time i review something hey, thank you very much to my top tier patrons billy hackett boris the german fly tribe magazine fred 805 jrod fpv marcella fpv patty cakes rick james rupert stompy fpv tactical drones trent tt fpv twan solo volleytronics wom fpv and wolf fpv thank you very much for being my top tier patron jaw. I'll see you on the next one.